it's Monday, January the 8th, and it's been pretty cold. So, so at 9 right now, and uh, we're at shows uh, 47 uh, on the weather channel. And uh, we got really uh, cold weather for the last two nights. And you can see that the shayote leaves here. It is actually some of the leaves are uh, been damaged by the cold. So the it looks like the passion fruits are doing much better. So having the uh, the vines up on top of the greenhouse like this helps protect it from the cold as well. So give it a bit more uh, protection. And I guess uh, there is also some frost here that we can see uh, the frost uh, on this uh, here, you see this uh, frost. It's nine o'clock morning, and you can see the frost. With, uh, the, the ice from the cold weather. So, um, I need to figure out how, uh, how to detect some which part of the yard is the coldest. So it seems like some parts got uh, you know, icicle form, but others don't. So we need to figure out which part of the yard here is the warmest and which is the coldest. So it seems like this might be the coldest part. And um, let's see, we'll go around the yard here. So that water there is uh, okay. So I'll just need to do some experimentations on that. And you can see the frost here on this. And um, I put on an extra layer of uh, protections on this wheat cloth and uh, you can see it's basically just a uh, piece of cloth moving cloth and for this uh, mango in here it seems uh, doing good it's a uh, I think this fabric wheat cloth here is working uh, yeah, really well it's cheap and it's just a job extremely well and uh you know the the leaves aren't even uh damaged by it and then uh so that's the sun umbrella protection that i uh did and we can compare you know i think uh it's have to uh, compare that with uh, the the one with the plastic one and see how that goes. Let's see. Okay, and then here, yes, this part is also, you can see the, the frost, the, uh, the, the icicle forming here. And the water is really cold, <laughs> extremely cold. So this is out in the open. This space here is out in the open. So nothing to protect it. And then the shayote that I'm uh, planting from the seed, it seems to be doing really well. I did. Okay, I've removed the uh, sun umbrella. And it looks like the uh, basil here is doing great. Look at the basil. There's like absolutely showing no damage at all. That's pretty amazing. Seems like this spot is the, probably
probably the warmest spot in the yard. And you can see the, this is the uh, jackfruit ceiling, which I started last year. So it's about a year old now. And this is the seedling mango. It's about, this is the second winter that's going through. And uh, I don't know what variety it is. But look at the small leaves. And there's about a couple of shoots coming up. And then this is a culantro. But generally speaking, I think uh, this part of the yard is probably the warmest. And uh, let's see. So we're going to go check out the, uh, the basil that's inside the, the greenhouse. So look at the basil here, the leaves. It looks like there's absolutely zero damage. Zero damage from the cold. Can you see the cold breath? You see that? This it's actually pretty cold right now. So it's 47 right now. That's what it says on the um, weather channel. And this um, basil is absolutely untouched by the cold. So I guess the winter is not over yet. Uh, we shall see what it will be like in the... Uh, so I think mid feb is when, uh, you know, we can declare uh, winter is over or my area here in uh, uh, the OC. So we're going to go check out the other um, uh, basil that's inside the greenhouse. All right, look at the basil inside this greenhouse, this plastic greenhouse. Looks like it's a, a goner. <laughs> So, it seems like, you know, inside a greenhouse is, doesn't necessarily mean that it will do better than the outside. Look at the, the mold is uh, overtaking the tree, the plant. And the reason why I like this greenhouse is because it basically protects from the rain. You know, protects the flowers, the mango flowers and meringue. So that's the reason why I like this uh, uh, greenhouse. That's what that's that's the whole purpose of it. So next year, I'm probably gonna try something else different. So this here is the um, uh, uh, Kamito. It's doing pretty good. Kamito is doing pretty good. So we'll see until, uh, you know, mid-February and we'll see how uh, everything will do inside the, this uh, experimentation greenhouse. <laughs>